great woman to remember. Assalamu alaikum everyone, Zarin Tisrim Priyam here again before you and today I'm here with a very cool and interesting topic so that it can raise something in you that is great women to remember. Of course, there are many great women to remember in this world because their contributions are so much that we can never forget them. And today I'm going to talk about five of the great women in history without whom I don't think we were be educated or we were be like respected as women. So I'm going to talk about them. So keep watching until the end of the video. First of all comes the name of Sheikh Fazilat Nisa Mujib. She was the wife of our father of the nation, Bangamata Sheikh Mujib Rahman, and she was called Bangamata. Why Bangamata? Bangamata means the mother of Bengalis. Why? Because her motherly affection and her so much love and carings for the people of Bangladesh that made her Bangamata. Just like Bangamata Sheikh Mujib Rahman's contribution, she also contributed being a woman. She married at a very early age, but from the very beginning of her marriage life, she supported our Bangamata Sheikh Mujib Rahman with her heart and soul. In many movements, in many historical movements, like the Six Point Demand, Mass Upsurge, the Liberation War, she stood beside our Bangamundi Sheikh Mujib Rahman. And you have to say that when our Bangamundi Sheikh Mujib Rahman used to get arrested, he used to leave his whole family to Sheikh Fuzilat Nisa because there was no one at home. And Fuzilat Nisa always said to Mujib and always encouraged him that you do not feel frustrated. I am here, I will take care of everything and I will also take care of the people of Bengal. So what a nice woman she was. In every case, in every sector, she helped our Bangamundu Sheikh Mujib Rahman. Next comes the words of Begum Rokia. She raised the voice of women because very, very years ago, women were not like treated as human beings in the society. They were like locked up in rooms. They were not allowed to go outside. They were not allowed to gain education. And even they were not allowed to have their own rights. They were not allowed to reveal their own rights. So Begum Rukia did what? After her marriage, she raised her voice for women. She just kept saying and writing books about women, women's awareness. She had a very good desire to learn. Because her father and mother did not allow her to learn, she used to study late nights with her elder brother. Her elder brother, Ibrahim, used to teach her at late nights. So think how much that woman desired to learn. But people did not take women as human beings in the society at the time. So she raised her voice and because of her today, women can do anything. Women are going to NASA, women are astronauts, women are pilots, women are doctors, women are treating patients, women are making such kind of vaccines which men also cannot. So are you thinking that what women are? Of course, they are superheroes. Your mother is a woman, of course. She is your superhero. Your sister is a woman, of course. She is also your superhero. Both of them are doing great contributions and I also did a video on that. Woman Empowerment for my February Presentation Challenge. I hope you guys saw it. And now comes the name of Florence Nightingale. Okay, who was Florence Nightingale? Of course, she was a very great nurse. You know, Florence Nightingale was like when she used to study doctorings or when she was studying about medicine or like different kinds of like diseases. Then she came to know that people of the war were wounded a lot and they were like bleeding and wounding a lot. So she quickly moved on to the war place and she treated the wounded patients. She is called the lady with the lamp. That means she treated the war wounded patients day and night without resting. Such a great woman. Of course, now it comes the name of Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa was a very young child when her father died and when the world war was going on. She was really frustrated seeing the condition of the people. There were no peace among them. So she was like just feeling how can this happen? People do not have any peace in their lives. I want to establish peace. So when she just entered her organization for being nuns, she just 
took off her gowns and started wearing saris. That means Bengali tradition. She started following Bengali tradition and she organized many schools and institutions in Kolkata. She also learned Bengali language so that she can collaborate with people easily. That was like really a strong belief of her that she can do much for people. Even those people who are like really disease affected, you cannot even go to their places because the diseases will spread. Because bad smell comes from their body if they get such kind of like infections on their body. People do not go close to them. But Mother Teresa herself washed their body, cleaned them and also made organizations for them. And she said that humanity is the best policy. Those who do not have humanities are not human at all. So, you have to care for humans. And of course, comes the name of Anna Frank. Anna Frank, during the war, she was like really writing a diary. And in her diary, she wrote about what her life was related to. And how she was like, being a little girl, she did a lot, isn't it? Yes, she did. She did a lot being a little girl. And her family members, I think, are proud of her because... She wrote a diary that what happened to her in her life or what happened to the people. She wanted to express the feelings of the people in her own diary and also she has written the diary so respectfully that it is not preserved. So think, these five women in our history, how are they? Are they only like known to be women? No, they are known to be superstars. So I regard them as superstars from my very own personal opinion. So thank you so much everyone for watching this video. There are many women in this world to remember. I just talked about five of them. There are many superstars around this world, especially your mothers. They are your superstars and they are great women to remember. Thank you again so much for watching this video until then. Inshallah, I'll come up with another video next time. Till then, keep your eyes on my favorite presentation challenges. Good night. আপনার সন্তান আপনার কাছে একটি স্বপ্ন একটি প্রজন্ম একটি বাংলাদেশ হ্যাঁ দেশ গড়ার প্রত্যয় প্রতিষ্ঠিত হয়েছে বস বাংলাদেশ অনলাইন স্কুল উই শেপ ফিউচার ফর অ্যাডমিশন প্লিজ কল অর এসএমএস টু 01620004200